Hey everybody, it's Karen from Waterfall Cricket. <laughs> Crickets. <laughs> Let me try again, take two. Wait, you need the thingy, right? This. Hi everybody, it's Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. <laughs> How are you on this lovely Saturday night? Time to do a little pour. Yay. Um, obviously, I'm in a good mood. I don't know why, I'm very silly today. Um, which is, you know, a good thing. Um, I felt productive because I finished up a bunch of artwork. When I say finished, I mean they're completely resin, they're cured, they got the D ring, some wire on the back with the little, you know, um, I don't know what those are called. These little guys, you know, in the back. And uh, I'm waiting for my new business cards and I have stickers to put on the back and I can initial them. And so, yeah. So um, I think I showed you these before. I can't remember. So I'm going to show them again because they're all done. And this is like the finished, finished product. Um, and I actually have these up on my sales page now. So, um, yeah, they're like ready to be sold and, and go. This is Laguna Beach. It's an 8x24. Um, the resin came out. At, no, now I'm having deja vu. So I think I must have done this before. Absolutely perfect. This one I sanded the sides. I'm going to leave them natural. But that's a nice little happy chipper painting. Goes in a beach house somewhere, I think. And then, oh, I know I've showed you these ones before. So my, the other ones that are done are, you know, my Twin Towers. They're all same, oh, upside down. Same deal, done, ready for sale. And then Norma Jean here, which I named because it's, it has metallic paint in it and it's kind of moody, but kind of sparkly. I'm like, okay, that's, that's, it's upside down. Definitely Norma Jean. So who is this guy here? This was a New York one. So which just goes to show how long it takes um, to get from point A, the poor, the fun part, to point B. Um, you know, waiting. I probably did this six, eight weeks ago. Varnished it or resined it two weeks ago. Waited five days, sanded it, put on a second coat. I had a barrier coat, so it really didn't need it, but I just wanted that depth. So it's two coats of resin, and then I had to, you know, I use a coarse sandpaper and then a really fine one, so this is really smooth, because I don't want people to get splinters on the wood. Um, so yeah, quite a bit of work go into those guys. And I already have a stack uh, ready for resin now. So tonight, um, I'm just gonna do a pour on two gently used canvases because they're the last two I have everything else is I'm um, gonna be brand new tomorrow I am doing my pour for my living room which uh, my husband and I changed the size I'm now doing a it's either 18 by 36 or 18 by 42 um, that looks best on the wall that size the other one was too big so I took it back and it's on cradled hardwood so I'm not gonna film it because um, I'm going to need my entire island and so I don't think I'm going to have a place to put the base and even if I have a spot for it you're not going to be able to see the whole canvas unless you're really far away and I'm going to be nervous enough so I'm like not going to add to that extra of like filming it um, unless you guys all yell at me and you really really want me to otherwise I'm just going to go ahead. If it sounds like bombs are going off that's because my daughter and husband are on I don't know, movie like 684 of, you know, Lord of the Rings, the extended season, series, version, whatever. And it's been going on for like literally night after night. I'm like, does this movie ever end? I don't know. They're still at it though. Anyway, down on the canvas. So these are my gently used canvases. This is both are a two inch Jeep cradled hardwood, um, pre-gessoed by ampersand. They're really smooth, even though it looks like hell. They're really, really nice. This is a, a an old, terrible pour I did back in New York with some leftover paint. That's like, that's out of here. Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna do this one first, and then I might you know, use leftover if I have it, or you know, quickly mix up um, a batch of color for this guy and uh, see what we get. So colors for tonight, we have um, Pro Red Dark, 
And did you know that this color, um, this red, it's a nice blue red. You know, it's not a uh, orange red. It, um, it's the same red they use for Ferraris. That's Ferrari red is the other, other name for it. Um, really lovely though. Consistency, I'll talk about my pouring medium recipe. A little slightly thinner, not much though. It almost disappears immediately, but there's like a fraction of a second where it's leaving the mound on the, here, let me turn it this way, on the cup before it disappears. So we have the plural red dark, killed that guy off. And then I'm still stuck on, you know, my favorite color of the week, which is the cobalt violet U, golden as well. And then um, just for fun, I added a little bit of, this is, I don't have the tube anymore, but this is Liquitex Basics Medium Magenta. And that one. And then we just have a cup of tea white. And then we have some, and I believe this is, uh, oh yeah, my Grimbacher Academy Payne's Gray, another perennial favorite. I like that word perennial a lot, don't I? It's a good word. Uh, yeah, so we're just gonna layer. I don't know if I'm gonna do one big cup or two little ones. It's long enough. It's deceiving because it's narrow. You think you could just go like this, but I know from experience you take a cup like this, you get about right here, and then you stop, and then you're forced to like draw it all down, and then your cells get all bent out of shape, and yes, yeah, so let's not, let's learn from our mistakes, and do two cups half full, and uh, roll with that instead. This guy here can be just one medium cup, so you know, like that much paint in it. I just like to use the bigger cups, like that if I'm doing it just for the wider mouth that's the only reason just to get more paint out of the cup when I'm dragging it down with the wider mouth um, let me add some silicone spot on to my colors just two in the pink two in the red two in the gray and two in the purple give those a light stir my pouring medium recipe, I am taking a page out of Julie Cutts' uh, playbook. She just did the most amazing colorful pour. Um, she's pretty giddy about it, and I don't blame her. Um, using, see if I get this right, something like 70% glue, 20%. Um, pouring medium and 10% water. I don't know if I got that right, but that's what I used tonight. So in my pouring medium um, was Liquitex. Pouring medium, water, and then my glue is just Elmer's glue wall for the PVA. All mixed up in this fine container right here. So congrats to her. And my color inspiration tonight, um, I had to go searching for it because I remembered this pour and I knew it was by Anne Marie Ritterhoff. And Anne Marie was the very first person, or she's how I discovered um, pouring, like two year, over two years ago, was I stumbled upon a Pinterest that led me to a YouTube video that was one of Anne Marie's and the rest, as they say, is history. So I, uh, she had done a pour with very similar colors, but I managed to find it tonight on Pinterest and it doesn't list what the colors are, but I kind of guessed from the picture. So if you don't follow or have ever heard of like the woman who has resurrected pouring as an art form, as far as I'm concerned, there are others, but she's a big one. Fine Anne Marie, it's A N N E M A R I E, Anne Marie Ritterhoff, R I D D E R H O F F. I mean, you could probably just put in pouring in Anne Marie on YouTube and you'll find her videos. Um, she's probably up to a couple hundred by now. And she, any kind of experiment, recipe, type of pour she has done it and tried it 
Um, and is very free with sharing information. She's just awesome. So that's the uh, artist I'm gonna plug tonight. It's Anne Marie. And I wanted to sneak these pores in tonight. Hi, Dusty. Um, before, I don't wanna put white on top of the black, so hold on a second. Uh, because I'm not. I'm gonna do my big one tomorrow night, and but I promised uh, my daughter I would take her to a horse show tomorrow afternoon. So I won't be able to pour. need the pink because red and white make pink so let's put red on top of white why not I have high hopes for this because I'm really liking the um, the creaminess um, of my consistency tonight it's feeling really good I'm feeling perky let's be positive let's see what we get I think that's enough colors I'm going to throw a little white on top that's going to make some gray, but who cares? And give it a go. All right. I'm going to put one up there. We'll book in them and one down here. Take these off. And look, I got plenty for another, uh, another mix. Let's see how this turns out. I know what I want to tell you. So I am going to do um, a resin video. It's going to take me a while because I'm going to splice it together. But I'm going to show you what it's like and all my like tips and tricks for when I resin. Um, and I'm going to do a couple pieces. One's going to be um, have a barrier coat and one will not which means it'll be cleaned off and I'll show you how I, well, I'm not gonna show you how I do it because that's just ridiculous. But basically how I clean my um, oil off is I just wait a good month for it to be cured first. And then I just lightly um, wash it with Dawn dish soap. I used to do the whole talc and um, corn powder or cornstarch thing and it just seemed messy to me and it was just easier to use the Dawn. Figure if it's good enough for the, you know, the geese, it was good enough for my art. And then I let it dry like a day and I pat it dry. You can't just like run water over this, particularly warm water. Um, you're gonna saturate the paint and it's gonna, um, it's gonna smear off. So it's a very quick process. And then I will leave it um, kind of like this one where there's no oil or anything. This one has a tiny, tiny bit. I see a spot I missed. But like this, and then put resin on it. And even though it'll be clean, it's still going to leave divots. And hopefully you'll see the one without the, um, or the one with barrier, um, the resin will go on like silk. It'll be easy peasy. Um, and then I also wanted to show you what happens... For those that are in the pro camp of um, adding silicone to resin, like, oh, I do it all the time. It works great. I think it works great if you mix it in your batch first, a very little amount. But if you try to do it on the canvas, your canvas will go cloudy. And I can demonstrate that like on the spot um, to show you why you don't want to do that. Um, which is why like me and a, um, a whole bunch of other artists are like, no, don't do it. And people are always like, yeah, but why? Look, it's great. Nothing ever happens to me. So I want to show you what can happen. Um, but that's going to be a multi-step video 
So uh, we'll see what happens. All right, let's go. They're carrying on down there. Ready? Cup number one. Mm -hmm. Oh, splooged it right off, you goober. Well, that was silly. Let me go this way just to stop it from going anymore. Oh, I like the colors though. that sit a second and find my little rinky my torch hasn't shown up yet my new torch I was hoping it would have come today I uh, selling up by itself kind of hmm That sit a second. All right, let's give it a tote. See what happens. Let's see which way I want to go. I guess I'll go that way first. And then I'm going to try to go get it all there. I wish I had more of this red here, but what are you going to do? I'm going to try to go over here. Lose my red. Bye-bye, red. I can't go back too far because I got to do this one lower, lower end over here. Definitely thicker. Julie said it would be thicker, and we all listen to Julie because she knows best. All right. There. Oh, I saved that one cell. Yay. me oh I'm kind of liking this because in the middle I got a couple little spots up at your end Let's see if I can flip it around oh I do like the color combination huh hmm where's my spoon I got my spoon hold on definitely have a little bit oh I have a little bit of red left in this one cup See if it's not too muddy. Hmm. It's right there. Oh gosh, this is just a little tiny spot right there. Which I wish was gray. Do I have any gray left? Pour that off. <gasps> I like it. I do. I like this. I just come my way a second. I 
didn't want to pour off. That's fine. We'll leave it. Yeah. That's pretty great. I'm going to take it. Um, let me see if I want a torch anywhere. I'm going to take off my gloves. They're a mess. I don't know. I like the spaces that are open where they are. I mean, this is uh, kind of busy right here. But there's definition with the cell, so we'll let that be a happy little cluster. I love this right here. And I like the black cells. I think I'm just gonna um, I put my Rinky Dink torch. That's its name, Rinky Dink, I've decided. Uh, and uh, just try and get a couple bubbles I see. We got really Without really adding any bubbles. I got a couple right there, that's okay. Yeah. All right, number one is done. Uh, check my sides, I'm gonna take my finger. I don't have to worry about the sides, but I do have this little lip that I have to get um, that I need the paint to run over because that part will show. Let me get the right colors. I need gray. Just like a little dot there. This side looks good. And there's a little spot of pins gray or something right there. All right, yeah. Looking good. All right, try number two. Um, I need to make just a little bit of white. Let me do that real quick. Um, for my white, I've been using um, the Blick big container of white, titanium white, and add a healthy dollop into my cup. Add a little pouring medium. So well here, you get to see this. So that much paint, like that much, maybe an ounce. And I'm gonna add just enough pouring medium. I'm gonna shoot for like 50-50 or closer to 60-40, 60 being the paint. But just enough to cover that top. Kind of like, uh, I see white so hard to see. So now it's that full. So it's about 50-50. Give this a good stir. And then, see if it needs any water or consistency. Ooh, no, that's nice. I am yeah, really quite happy with that guy though. He's pretty. So maybe we'll switch up the order a little bit. Um, yep, so consistency, see if you guys can see that right there for that one. And I am going to go and add one drop of silicone into these colors that are near the bottom of these uh, cups. Just one in each, just because I think it's gone two, three, four, all right, there we go. Just a little bit of white. Oh, low on the purple. I shouldn't need too, too much. gray and pink 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 I also realized that I um I need to go to the dollar store to buy the uh, squeeze bottles to do, do do a puddle pour I thought I had a bunch and um, 
I think when I moved, I threw them out because I was too lazy to clean them or recycle them or something. I don't, but I can't lay my hands on them, so I'm gonna have to get more. All right, back to the white. So a couple minutes ago, when my daughter and husband were carrying on my banshees, I just gave them a look. And they were like, oh, you're filming. Sorry. But it was funny. I must have had like my knock it off. I'm filming face on or something. Because they both just shut up. It was pretty funny, actually. I was kind of glad, you know. That's his boss around here. That's me. Not really, but they were respectful. That's way too much paint. I might dump that, whatever I have left in the cup, so I gotta go find myself a five by five. colors in all my cups. All right, let's see how this guy turns out. Move these guys out of the way. I'll put him down here. I think I only have one cup under here. No, I have two. Okay. Give him a second. See if I can drag it without splooting it. Yeah, this hair bunched up a little more, but I don't think I'm gonna futz with it because the rest of it's still pretty nice, so we'll leave it. Can't get my glove on. Try and save a bunch of paint in the cup. One, two, three. Oh, there's my red. Look at that. <gasps> Likey. Helping it spread out a little. Let's do corners over here where it's thin. Let that just settle. Still moving around? Did you stop? Yeah, kind of stopped. Where's Rinky Dink? Okay, I got Rinky Dink. Caterpillars. Kind of thick right there. Nothing's happening at all. So I'm gonna go up toward you. Try to stretch out that uh, black caterpillar. Whole bunch of paint left in my cup. Look how different. Isn't that amazing? Totally different. Let's move these out of the way for a second. Do the wiggle wiggle. There you go. Yeah. You need a goner. Come around this way. I'm a lefty, so I gotta hold it like this way. I like that some of the black showing up. That's great. All right, let's wiggle down toward you guys. 
go meet up. Good. And then how about this side? Go visit? Oh, come back. Cells are getting wonky. It's because I tilted it down too much. The trick is to have it move in the direction you want it to move in. Um, but if you if you go downhill too much, then your cells are going to be like, oh, you want me to make a left turn? Okay. So let me come back because there's some white lacing that's coming up that I kind of want to keep. Take a look at this guy. Oh, a little more this way. Yeah, you can go up. There's one little spot there. Let me just do that. Oh, it's almost a shame I'm not doing my sides in this one because um, they're kind of pretty. Let's do my little lips. Give them a look. It's like a very happy February pour, isn't it? And I just, I'm like amazed at, I totally lost my violet in the uh, second pour. Gonzo. The pink and red came out, some of the black, some of the, I mean the paint's gray, but. I'm gonna have to zoom in, um, let me take my gloves off. On this one part on this little guy, because that's kind of cool. I gotta, I gotta do a macro shot. There is like, it was two caterpillars. I'm slowly like coming around to liking caterpillars because if you stretch them out the right way, you can get some interesting stuff. And right here, I have one here, and then it looked like they kissed, and there's another one here, and it's just really cute. Like that, just like a little, like put that in a heart right there. Very, very cute. Some great cells here too. And I love the lacing. Um, do I want a torch anywhere? Come here, Rinky Dink. Just on the corners right here where I touched it. Maybe some right there. And some in this guy. I don't think it'll do anything though. In the corners. Pop some bubbles. Just some heat. All right, done. Ta-da! Yeah, I'm done. Like, quick and easy, man. Wow. I can go have a beer. I really don't drink beer. I'm more of a wine girl. And I still have my tea, so. Anyway, um. I'm, I'm such an idiot. I like wearing my favorite, favorite sweater in the whole world. My um, Dalmatian sweater. And that's what I decided to paint in. Like a goober. Total goober. Oh, where am I? <sighs> Thanks for watching. Thanks for your support as usual. Um, keep checking out the Waterfall Acrylics Facebook store. I added like five more things today. So that was cool. Getting there, slow but sure. Um, let me zoom in on these guys. Let me know if you really, really want to watch me do the big guy. I'll consider it. Um, or if you like totally understand, like, oh my God, I would want to do that one without anyone watching. So I don't know. Um, let me zoom in. Take care guys. Bye. Well, let's do this little guy first because he's just adorable. Where is he? Let me not stick my hair in the paint. But see right there, like there's that little area. Am I, I wanna, no, I have no idea if I'm even on the canvas. Am I on the canvas? But super, super cute. Happy little painting, the reds and pinks. Think up high, where is it? Um, 
really kind of like him. He's just sweet. That's a very sweet little poor. And then uh, this is like drama mama over here. This guy, completely different vibe. Completely. Um, great cells though. I love the composition. Um, the layout of this one. Really, really, where am I? <laughs> really quite pleased with the layout. So, put him away with the one I did the other night. Learned my lesson. Not going to get him out for like at least a week. So, it'll be wild. Um, you'll see the dry results in these. So, yeah. I'll post pictures, etc., etc. Take care. Bye bye.